Judgment Day is coming. Absolutely everyone is going to be judged by what they have done. And God is going to be judging without respect of persons. No favoritism to absolutely anyone. God raised Jesus from the dead. He seated Jesus down at his right hand. And he's put his son, the man Jesus, in charge of everything. He has made Jesus Lord of all heaven and earth. And God the Father is going to judge the world. Judgment Day is coming. And the way he is going to do that is he, he has appointed the man Jesus to judge all mankind. That's the way God is going to go about judging the world. The devil has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. And we must be ever watchful and ever vigilant. We must watch and pray. We have to keep our eyes open, you know, and not get seduced and deluded. One of the things the devil likes to do is to seduce people into thinking that they need to seek the approval of men. And he especially likes people to think that they need to seek the approval of their peers. And if they have the approval of their peers, whom they call brother and sister, then they're justified in what they're doing. Friends, you're not. There's only one who can approve of what you're doing, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. And we have to be careful about thinking, you know, that if we're approved um, by other brothers and sisters in what we're saying or doing, then what we're doing is right. That's very dangerous. It's only the Lord Jesus Christ who can confirm us. That's it. And that's all that's going to matter on Judgment Day. When you stand before Jesus on Judgment Day, all the approval of your peers isn't going to matter, is it? If you have a thousand people who approved of you, what's it going to matter? It's not going to matter at all. And if you had a thousand people who disapproved of you, what's going to matter? It's not going to matter. Their disapproval isn't going to mean a thing. And the approval of the other thousand isn't going to mean a thing. The only thing that's going to matter is if the Lord Jesus approved you and confirmed you in what you did. That's going to be true on Judgment Day, and it's true now. It's true right now. Judgment begins with the household of God. And the spirit of truth comes into our hearts for that reason. So that we're led by the spirit of truth. And we're conformed to the image of Jesus. Not to our peers. Not to our brothers and sisters. What they're doing and saying is not what you fix your eyes upon. What Jesus is calling you to do, you fix your eyes upon. And so whatever they're preaching or teaching, or whatever they're doing, if you imitate that or impersonate that, or if you're doing it too, just because they're doing it doesn't justify what you're doing. And if they're disapproving of what you're doing, that doesn't make it wrong. Jesus is the one who decides these matters. Jesus Christ. You know, it's great when we can encourage our brothers and sisters. And we, we need to be doing that. You know, we need to be building up the body of Christ all the time. And one important way we do that is to encourage them. But encouragement and approval aren't the same thing. You know, if I approve of you and something you preached about or something you did, it's not going to matter on Judgment Day. Or if I disapproved of something you said or did, it's not going to matter on Judgment Day. 
and vice versa. Whether you approved or disapproved of anything I said or did, it isn't going to matter. The only thing that's going to matter, the only thing, is if you're approved of God. That's it. Done. And so, you know, you got to be careful about, you know, keeping your eyes on your peers and trying to be conformed to their image. That's what all the organized churches do out there in Christendom. People all want to look like each other. And very, very, very few of them want to be conformed to the image of Jesus. You don't want to get caught in that trap. The devil's pretty good at his tricks, you know. He's a master deceiver. He's the father of lies. And you have to be watchful and vigilant. And you have to make sure that you're not falling into some of these snares of his. You know, if, if I'm talking about something on YouTube, for example, and you don't like what I'm saying, it's irrelevant, really. You know, it's, it's really irrelevant. It matters if the Lord wants me to be saying that. And the same is true for you. If you're saying something, whether, you know, I approve of you or disapprove of you, it's really irrelevant. It's only relevant if the Lord approves of what you're doing. That's it. And, you know, people, you can see it. They want to be conformed to the image of their peers. And they start to imitate them, sort of impersonate them. They do the things their peers are doing. Big mistake. We want to be conformed to the image of God's Son. We're to be like Jesus. Jesus. Not our peers. We're to be approved by Jesus. The one God is appointed to judge the world. We're to be conformed to the image of God's Son. That's what you're to look like. The Spirit of Truth leads you to what to say, not your peers. What your peers saying might even be wrong. It might be wrong. And that's why it's so important that we must be confirmed by the Lord. And you know, so many people, they don't want to be, um, you know, they don't want their peers to disapprove of them. You can't care about that. You can't be concerned about that. Because if that's your top priority, that's your top priority, then when Jesus calls you, you might not listen. Because the approval of your peers is more than the approval of the Lord. And when the Lord calls you to say something or do something that might not meet with the approval of your peers, you're not going to do it. And you're going to disobey Jesus because you want the approval of men, your peers, more than the approval of God. That's a big problem, isn't it? That's a big problem. You have to be prayerful and vigilant and watchful. And always be concerned that what you're doing, if it's something you're saying or something, you know, some activity, that it's confirmed and approved by the Lord Jesus Christ. Whether I approve of it or disapprove of it, doesn't matter. Whether you have a thousand people approving of you, doesn't matter. Whether you have a thousand people or ten thousand disapproving of you, doesn't matter. And friends, this is one of the reasons the world hates the disciples of Jesus. In their eyes, this looks like disrespect to them. They come along and they want to give you, you know, their approval. Or they want to give you their instructions. And when you rather follow Jesus, they think that you are disapproving of them. You see, because they're so caught up in seeking the approval of men, that when you choose the approval of Jesus over them, and you say no to them, 
I'm following my Lord. They take that as disrespect and they start to hate you and hate you more and more and more. Right? That's what happened between Jesus and the Pharisees. He was more concerned about doing the will of his Father than meeting with their approval. And they didn't like that. They thought Jesus just kind of disrespected them. And that's really not what was going on. And Jesus was teaching them. It's not about the approval of men, me approving you or you approving me. It's about that we're being approved by God. And it's pretty easy to get caught up in this game. where We're all in our little group. Yay, good one. You know what? If I give you a approval, just remember, it's not going to matter on Judgment Day, is it? You want to hear that approval from Jesus Christ. If I give you a disapproval, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. It's what Jesus thinks that matters. Praise his name. God bless you.